Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, Lamp Boy uh, YouTube channel. Um, today I just thought I'd quickly discuss um, a question that comes up many times on the Facebook groups and it is, what fuel do I use in my miner's lamp? So you've got two types of fuel. Um, you've got your um, lamp oil, which is essentially paraffin. Or you've got your spirit fuel, which is this stuff here that I use is um Upol, but that is um naphtha uh, which is what is used in lamps with relighters and i'll discuss that in a second so why is there two different fuels well you've got lamps like these that you, you light with a match cigarette lighter um so that they don't need a, a spirit they, they run on paraffin and lamp oil or uh, you've got lamps like this cola, it's got um, an igniting device inside it and um, you can just see the igniter there at the back. And a, a spark won't generally ignite paraffin, so it needs to be a, a spirit fuel. Now in the in the British coal days, you'd, you'd find cosoline for the uh, miners lamps. Um, you can't get that fuel much now, so uh, I use Upol, which is very similar. Um, so I'll just quickly show you this uh, this old JCB lamp that I've got. I'll just, just zoom in there. You can just see the JCB stamp on the bonnet. Um, these, like many other lamps, uh, run on lamp oil or paraffin, and you just unscrew the bottom. You take the uh, uh, the ring out there, the burner ring, and then you you take the wick out and pour the paraffin in to light it. And then you'd light it with um you'd light it with a match or a light or whatever and reassemble the lamp and then that a bit for the shift now these lamps were the main source of lighting underground in the early days of mining you know um so it'd be essential that that was kept lit um some mines did have relighting stations underground in case the, the, the lamp went out. Um, but yeah, that's a, a, a paraffin burning lamp, same as this Patterson B7. Um, this is a nice lamp. It's got an electronic ignition in it where you stand it on a on a machine that would create a high voltage tension spark uh, over the wick to light it. Right, so they're, they're generally your, 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 your oil burning lamps. Now there's, there's people that say, oh, I've got a, a lamp and it's a flat wick, uh, so it must be paraffin burning. Well, that's not always the case, and I'll show you that for why in a moment. Um, but these two lamps were oil burners. So I'll just put them to one side. And then, so, you've got your spirit burning lamps. Um, I've got two coals here as, as examples. So that's got a spark igniter in it, you can just see it there. And like I said earlier, they would need a spirit uh, type fuel to uh, ignite the, uh, for the spark to be, uh, for, sorry, for the flint to ignite the spark, but we'll just try and show you here now. So this is a cola lamp and I've just taken the bottom off. I'll just wind up the, uh, the wick. So this is a flat wick lamp and we'll just um, light it now. And there, that's just lit now. Just turn that down. I can never remember which way to turn these. We'll turn them down. There we are. We'll turn that down. So, these lamps uh, with the igniters generally more used for the mine officials that would test for gas. They didn't need a light all the time or whatever, but that is, um, um, it's got a flint wheel and a, a flint for, for igniting the, the um, wick. So, the other thing as well with the um, spirit burning lamps is that they have a wad in, inside them. Um, I'll just get this one opened up to show you what it looks like. So, we'll just undo the fuel filler there. Generally, when you're differentiating between uh, paraffin and spirit lamps, usually paraffin lamps don't have cotton wool inside, but Let's just see if you can see in there. You can just see that white stuff at the bottom there is cotton wool. 
So let's just put that together again. Just screw that stopper in there. So generally, spirit burning lamps have cotton wool in the fuel cells. The paraffin lamps don't. So that's a good way of telling them apart. And finally, lots of people go that flat say that flat wick lamps aren't spirit burning, but some of them are, as we can see here. Now there is a bit of a oddball in the lamp world, and this protector SL lamp is um let me just put that out so this has an electric wire that sits over the top of it so it's not spark ignition but it does take spirit up so i'll just quickly show you how this lights now just expose a wick on this so this has an electrical current that passes through two terminals and it has a platinum wire or this this case it's nichrome wire that passes through the um, lamp and it glows red until it lights a wick so let's just have a look at this now so that's just lit there just turn that down but yeah so this lamp is still a spirit burner so that is your different types of fuels basically for the lamps um, if you're stuck, just drop me a message on my, on the Lamp Boy um, YouTube channel and I'll get back to you with, when I can with some help. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll find that you've got to be really careful if you put paraffin into a spirit lamp. And it's not because the paraffin won't burn, it's because the, um, the cotton wool wadding in the bottom of the lamp can get ruined. It can, uh, if you leave the paraffin in, it can wax up. So that's just something that you have to be aware of. But yeah. So anyway, that's just a quick explanation about different types of fuels. So thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.